And now it's time for a fake obituary of a real person. This time it's Ted Cruz, a future obituary of Ted Cruz, read by Jim Earl. And now the future obituary of Ted Cruz, Canadian sausage, pitch man for snot. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Cruz, the passionate and effective fighter for ineffective government, medieval economic theory, and the Constitution as defined by Nazis, is dead after 45 years of poorly imitating human life. <laughs> His daughter reportedly found the Republican presidential candidate in their home drowning in a bathtub filled with his own cooties. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a creepy guy. Paramedics tried frantically to administer mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, but the oxygen refused to go in on account of it being, quote, too creeped out. <laughs> Cruz's mom is of Irish descent and his father is Cuban, so every St. Patrick's Day he gets drunk and trims his wife's bush. <laughs> In 1974, when Ted was just five years old, his father abandoned the family and moved to Texas. Yes, it was that bad. <laughs> Cruz often told the story of how his father escaped Cuba with only $100 in his underwear. As senator, he took inspiration from that story to shut down the government and nearly flush the economy down the toilet. Not the big laugh I was hoping for. <laughs> <clears throat> In 1995, Ted Cruz graduated from Harvard, Harvard Law School, answering the age-old question, what could make people hate lawyers even more? <laughs> As senator from Texas, Cruz's greatest achievement was uniting both sides of the aisle in their universal disrespect for Canada. <laughs> the deceased requested that the stick up his ass be used to plant his body outside Planned Parenthood in order to act as a deterrent to sex. <laughs> Yay!